Israel's incoming PM Benjamin Netanyahu speaks out on Iran's nuclear ambitions. Incoming Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu lays out his agenda following his election victory on Hannity. Incoming Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Wednesday evening that he has formed a new government after his Likud party and allies won a majority during last month's elections. Israelis went to the polls for the fifth time in four years on November 1, with Netanyahu's coalition winning 64 seats in the 120-member Neset. Thanks to the enormous public support we received in the last elections, I was able to establish a government that will work for the benefit of all Israeli citizens, Netanyahu tweeted just minutes before a midnight deadline on Wednesday evening. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu chairs a weekly cabinet meeting in Jerusalem, Sunday, March 8, 2020. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu chairs a weekly cabinet meeting in Jerusalem, Sunday, March 8, 2020. AP photo slash Oded Bay loyalty, pool. Netanyahu, who served as Israeli Prime Minister for 15 years before being ousted in January 2021 amid a corruption investigation, spent weeks brokering deals with far-right partners to secure the new government. U.S. and Israel discuss military drill to simulate conflict with Iran, proxies. Members of Netanyahu's cabinet will likely include Itamar Ben-Gvir, who will be appointed security minister and be in charge of the National Police Force, Bezal El Smotrich, a West Bank settler leader who will serve as finance minister, and Avi Maz, the head of a small anti-LGBT faction who will control parts of Israel's education system. File photo, then U.S. Vice President Joe Biden shakes hands with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as they deliver joint statements during their meeting in Jerusalem March 9, 2016. File photo, then U.S. Vice President Joe Biden shakes hands with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as they deliver joint statements during their meeting in Jerusalem March 9, 2016. Reuters slash Debbie Hill The Biden administration, which has stark differences with Netanyahu on the Iran deal and other issues, has pledged to work closely with the new government. We will gauge the government by the policies it pursues rather than individual personalities. We will hold it to the mutual standards we have established in our relationship over the past seven decades, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said earlier this month. The Associated Press contributed to this report.